Hey there guys, um, welcome back. I'm uh, going to test a new piece of software from Komodo tonight. This is called the Komodo Time Machine. Uh, just downloaded it off the net. It's still in beta, so uh, we'll be gentle with it. But uh, let's see how it works. Uh, this is supposed to be a the clean not it's like the clean component of their up and coming security suite so you know you have prevention and uh, they have detection and then they have the clean component uh, I guess that's what I want to call it uh, basically it uh, keeps track of all changed files on the system and anything that um, happens and you know that if anything happens that would be bad you can easily just uh, go back in time so uh, this installer here, uh, still in beta, so you can only get it off their forums and whatnot. But it's a uh, 13.5 megabytes, not bad at all. Uh, and if anybody's familiar with the Komodo products, it actually has a new changed interface. So uh, let's take a look at it here. I've never used it before. So this one's brand new to me too. So uh, I'll learn uh, as I go along. So it might take me a little bit longer, but we'll uh, go through it and we'll see what happens. Okay, that's great. All right, so let's see here. Accept the license agreement. Standard location. Single system. As you can see, it can handle single systems, multi-boot systems, uh, and a multi-boot system. But if you've already installed Time Machine on the other operating systems, because this is a single system, we'll go with that. Let's install it here. Hopefully, uh, looks like the installer is going pretty quick, so that's uh, nice to see. I'm not a big fan of bloatware, as uh, anybody out there should be. Uh, there's no reason why why software has to be full of useless crap. All right, uh, oh look, they got a nice new icon here, so uh, that's kind of interesting. All right, it's all done. Asking me to restart. So uh, I will pause it and uh, I'll be back. All right, uh, this just popped up right now when Windows started. So I uh, uh, don't know what's happening there. Yeah, I guess it's installing it or something. So that was uh, kind of strange, but uh, we'll go on with it, I guess. Let's see here now. If Komodo Time Machine works like it's supposed to work, doesn't matter what I get on the system, I can easily just uh, go back to where it was before it ever even happened. So how am I going to test that? Simple. I got five pretty nasty malware links, I think including a rootkit in one of them. So uh, let's see what happens, see how good it is. Alright. See if anything gets loaded. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I know. No antivirus. Let's open it up here. Alright, let's see what we got under advanced here. Let's see if there's any settings or anything to be messed with. Well, we got a baseline. I'm here. Well, that's real nice. Okay, they got that. They got to take a snapshot. Schedule tasks. If I can name it whatever I want, I can restore the system. I can recover files. That's kind of nice. Uh, reset the baseline. Let's see what we got under settings here. Ooh, big settings menu. Okay, uh, program appearance, advanced settings, remind me. Okay. User settings, program settings, or protection settings, sorry. Okay, well that's uh, all that fun stuff. Let's uh, take a snapshot. Call it uh, clean. Okay, that was pretty quick. So uh, let me connect uh, to the internet here. All 
There we go. Internet Explorer. Let's get that opened up. Get my new links up and going. Right, get to the MSN website. Now I think this first one here is that rootkit. See what it does to the old system here. Now this thing has nothing on it but Komodo Time Machine. Nothing else. No antivirus, no nothing. So this thing is wide open to compromise. Let's see. Well, I guess that one didn't work. Let's see, client service, CM tray. It takes about six megs. Not bad. Uh, let's move on to the next one here. I haven't tested any of these links personally, so they might not work. That one doesn't work either. I hate Notepad, just so you know. see what this one is. Oh, look, it's Facebook. It's a fake Facebook. Oh, did I want to install something? Sure, let's download Flash here. You know, we all know it's fake. Let's download it and run it. Let's watch the test bar. Oh, look at that. Got something popped up already somewhere. Right there. Some oddball named application and there's another one and and there it is alright let's try uh, the next one you can see it's just going wild on the system here all kinds of stuff yeah, it's one that doesn't work apparently Try the next one here. Well, it's a pop up. Oh, look, I have a virus. Oh my god. Let's try it. It's one of those fake anti, uh, fake virus, antivirus things. Alright, let's install it here. Yes, I want to be protected. Total Security 2009. Oh. Alright. Oh boy, look at that. A nice uh, rogue, as people call them. So, as you can see, we got a couple things installed here. Let's see if we got any root kits on the old system here. You know what? I'm going to stop the video right now and I'm going to start uh, video two. It's getting close to that time. See you in a minute.